Welcome back. Uh, this is Looney Tunes Corner. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, Monopoly. You know that game you only ever play at Christmas. I always thought it was a lousy game, really. You just go around, you just buy everything you can, as much as possible, and then take all the rent, you know. Uh, but uh, people seem to like it, uh, so who cares? Uh, however, uh, councils around the country, local councils, uh, are giving guidance to parents of white kids in particular, saying that uh, white kids playing Monopoly should be given more money and less jail time to teach them the harsh truth about racial pri privilege. In other words, they're white, so they are probably seen by the woke crowd as the beneficiaries of white privilege anyway, racial privilege. But if uh, we give them, lo when they're playing Monopoly, we give them loads of money and much less jail time than anyone else. They'll learn the bitter realities of what racial privilege is all about. Uh, so the councils involved are Southampton, Leicestershire and London, uh, particularly Lambeth Borough Council, that's around where Talk TV Towers is, uh, and the City of London Corporation, but also, as I say, in Leicestershire and Southampton. Uh, well, uh, I'd say this is uh, pretty damned insane. Uh, let's talk, uh, if we can, to... Uh, it's... Uh, um, where are we at? We're not... It's not on the screen. Oh, there. Amy Gallagher, commentator at the New Culture Forum. Hello, Amy. Uh, now we haven't got any sound. Uh, hello, Amy, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we got uh, this. Is, this oh. is not getting off to a good start, but it's going to—it's uphill all the way from now on. Trust no me. No worries. Uh, forgot your name, and then we couldn't hear you. Uh, but uh, now we can hear you, and your name is Amy Gallagher. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan. Lovely to meet you. Uh, oh. What do you make about this? Uh, this is just so ridiculous. These councils. It was originally uh, uh, a, a guidance written uh, for twenty in 2020. Uh, for the makers of Barbie, Mattel, you know, those toy makers. Uh, and uh, the company has since removed this mad advice from its website, but uh, councils around Britain seem to be sticking with it. So the proposal is that white kids playing Monopoly should be given uh, more money and less jail time so that they understand what it's like to be white. But they already are white. But, I mean, it, this is just insanity, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we see stories like this now on a weekly basis, things about white privilege or anti-racism or gender ideology infecting our schools, our councils, our institutions. You know, and I think we become a bit desensitised to it. We think, oh, it's just more woke nonsense. But actually, when you look at this stuff, it's so sinister. It's actually teaching children to be racist. It's encouraging racist stereotypes of white children and black children. It's essentially yeah, saying that point. all black... Yeah, it's essentially saying that all black people are poor, um, which is a racist stereotype. There's loads of wealthy, successful black people. And it's saying that all, all white children are what born into wealth or born with money. And we know that actually one of the, the poorest, most impoverished group of, of, of young people growing up in, to, in the UK today is young white people working class boys who have some of the worst educational uh, outcomes and and living you know living in some of yeah. the most impoverished parts of our society um so it's 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 all it's going to do is if, if it was implemented is build resentment build division between children yeah. and actually corrupt the innocence of children because children generally don't see race it's only until they get older that they, they yeah. you know they, they become aware of society and our you know our racial our racialized thinking actually it's encouraging a racialized thinking within children that actually isn't there um and it's it's very disturbing that the councils would adopt this i actually just think the fact that they've taken this from a barbie manual guidance just shows you that they are just so dumb i mean they're willing to just sort of run and it's actually just it's just bile in fairness to mattel the toy makers that company has removed this advice from its website uh, but as i say uh, four, uh, I think it's four councils at least around Britain are sticking with it. And you make a good point uh, there, Amy. Uh, in essence, this is racist. Yeah. It's racist to suggest that all white people somehow, uh, uh, somehow or other have more money uh, than people of colour. It's also mm -hmm. racist to suggest, you know, that when white people are in the dock, they are automatically given less jail time than people of colour. 
Uh, <laughs> and, you know, old people, adults, you know, they tend to be depressingly uh, stereotypical like this. They too tend to characterise people, caricature people almost. Uh, but as you say, the beauty of children, uh, the innocence of childhood, they don't see colour. And here we are imposing these awful, stale, outmoded adult prejudices on innocent kids who actually, before we pollute them, know better than we do. That's right. I mean, and these guidelines were written for children as for as young as three year olds up to the age of 12. So it's very, very young children. And it says they want to encourage children to become anti racist allies. Essentially, I mean, this is like something out of the Cultural Revolution, like indoctrinating children from such a young age. Children don't have to be allies to anything. They're children. They should be playing games in a normal way without any ideology inf inf infecting the game. And I think it's very interesting that they've gone after Monopoly because Monopoly is a game that's about you know, buying property it's about wealth it's about i guess capitalism yeah. and we know that many of these so-called anti-racists actually underneath it they have very strong socialist or communist leanings and i think that's why they've targeted this game actually um but the idea that they would want to put their politics their adult politics onto a young child i think it's it to me it's it's almost like a kind of grooming it, it's it's really corrupting it's 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 just grotesque and it just shows you how how captured um you know our councils are that they would allow this in i mean this is what we pay our taxes towards um yeah, yeah. you know what's interesting amy is, is you know i mean this feeds into uh, a syndrome that destroyed the Tories. The, the Tories uh, you know, stood around, uh, they were asleep at the wheel, while this woke ideology consumed more and more and more of our culture. This is one more example. Now, these wokies, these uh, woke warriors, I mean, what they really are is they're left-wing, they're, uh, they're anti-capitalist, they don't like our culture, and the Tories uh, just acted like there was nothing to worry about. Well, what they allowed to happen under their watch was basically uh, the changing of our society. And I think, I don't know what you think, but I think uh, it's time we started kicking back at this. It's, start, it's time we started fighting, because there's no common sense in this. And actually, I think it's probably dangerous. This pollutes children. Yeah, I mean, none of these ideas have any evidence base behind them. Actually, yeah, yeah. all the evidence goes on to the contrary. All of the unconscious bias training, for example, has been totally debunked. Yep. And there's a lot of evidence that shows when you... Discredited, these ideas. totally discredited. Yeah, yeah, totally discredited. And there are still <laughs> schools that practice it. Exactly, yeah. And I think you're right. I mean, I think it's devastating that this happened under 14 years of, of Conservative government. Um, but unfortunately, we've now got a Labour government who I think will increasingly push this stuff even more. And that's a depressing thing. Yeah, you know, it, you're right. should been, it should have been stopped under a Tory government. But now I think we're going to see more and more of these stories. It's going to get a lot worse. Amy, I've got to go because we've got to go to the news. But really good to talk to you. Come on the show again. Amy Gallagher there from the New Culture Forum.